Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I'm going to review a Kusa tea. And this is um, called Deep Doze Chamomile Lemon Balm. It's a premium herbal tea. Um, there's been four or five of the herbal teas. They were specially formulated for certain things. So um, this one here, um, let's see, it's got some interesting ingredients in it chamomile which is known for helping you to relax and to um, get sleepy fall asleep uh, it's got lemon balm poria mushroom sour jujube kernel longan and licorice so this one here is said to have been uh, uh, constructed for the purposes of uh, falling asleep, uh, sleeping, you know, uh, just sleeping really, really well, um, being relaxed, and 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 is said to help you stay asleep instead of waking up later in the morning. So um, that's interesting. You can't, you know, of course, it's caffeine free. Uh, I'd be surprised to see that it's caffeine. Um, Functional caffeine free. Okay, so let's see. So I've been using it in hot water because um, I don't have access to uh, ice. So um, I'd probably be more apt to drink hot tea in the morning anyway, just to kind of clear my throat out. Um, this one here um, being kind of a uh, a sleep aid maybe a little bit um, might have to counteract it with an energy drink here later if it's make, if it makes me sleepy um, I'll be you know painting and <laughs> so um, so let's see Out of the packet, I'm kind of getting uh, maybe a little cereal, a little cereal aroma. Like a cross between Wheaties or Cheerios or something. It doesn't smell bad. Let's put some water in here. Go by right there. <clears throat> okay. These have directions about uh, for how much water to put in them, but uh, so I would probably suggest doing that um, first. I'm just doing it for the re doing it this way for the review. Just I, I want it to be a little bit stronger tasting, so I can taste things really well in there. If I need to, I can add some water to it. It kind of has a, a greenish appearance to it. Okay, so out of the pack, I, I got kind of a cereal aroma, kind of like a cross between Cheerios and Wheaties. Out of the out of the glass, mixed in with the water, I'm getting a little bit of honey. A little bit of that cereal aroma. <clears throat> I 
think that's about it. Might be just a little tinge of lemon in there, but I, it's mostly honey and, and kind of a cereal aroma. Let's see what we got in the taste. Getting a light honey, a light cereal taste. I think I'm getting just a little bit of a cooling sensation on the back end after the swallow, maybe a little minty. Not a, not a whole lot, but it, it seems like it's there a little bit. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't bad. This is pretty good like this. Um, if you all are familiar with my channel and how I do products that don't have sweetening sweeteners to it, I usually add sweeteners to it, like coffee or, or tea in this case. Um, but this ain't bad. This ain't bad. Um... With that being said, in the way of that it has a little bit of a honey taste, if I, you know, if I'm not wanting to, you know, gulp it down so I can't taste anything, and I want to enjoy it just a little bit more before I go to bed, I think I'd probably add a little bit more honey to it. So let's see what the additive of a little bit more honey will do. honey added added to this is not going to hinder me from you know going to sleep so There's a little thing floating in there. Probably came from my from my spoon or something. All right, let's try. It. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't have to add a bit of half a teaspoon of extra sugar. I mean, honey in there, so. That right there is just fine. That uh, I don't need to add a whole lot in there. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, like the other ingredients on here, I don't, I don't recognize. Now the licorice might have been that very, very light, minty, cooling sensation that I had on the back end. That it wasn't, wasn't huge. But that might be what that is. Otherwise, I don't really taste a whole lot of licorice in the flavor itself. So, um, yeah, I don't know what, what a lot of these. Now, that cereal, maybe that little dull, kind of light, sweet cereal kind of taste. I don't know about the sweet part, but uh, might be the poria mushroom. I don't know. I'm not familiar with, with mushrooms, so I can't tell you about on that um chamomile i'm not sure i've had stuff with chamomile in it but i don't remember if it's minty or not you guys probably would be able to tell me that but uh yeah yeah pretty good all right so jim's jim's full name is lamancusa um, I thought I'd heard that before, but I always keep calling him Jim Cusa, but it's Lamanc Lamancusa. So, um, so he, uh, he, uh, Cusa T invented a new cold brew botanical extraction technology that maintains the flavor, aroma, antioxidants, and functional benefits of premium tea. The top 5% of quality organic tea, herbs, fruit, and spices are carefully blended, cold brewed for maximum efficiency, 
efficacy and then gently dehydrated to give you an award-winning and perfect cup of tea anytime anywhere iced or hot your part your part just add water to awaken the tea um, so the herbal teas is the everyday wellness slim savvy uh, deep dose immune boost and mellow movement I don't know which ones I all I've done. Let's see. Looks like Slim Savvy is the last one. I thought I had some other ones. I'll have to look and see. But uh, yeah, good stuff. They've won champ. Their their championship four time championship winners for taste. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in their products, then you can go to. Um, <clears throat> I think it's kuzatea.com. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, kuzatea.com. You can also try Facebook. Either way, you can contact them, ask them what you need to know, how to order some, what all products they have, um, prices, that kind of stuff. So there you go. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you, Robin, for sending me these. I appreciate that. And we will see you all on the next one. All right. Bye.